got a girl How you want me? How you want me when you got a girl? A feeling is reckless Of knowing it's selfish Knowing I'm desperate Getting on in and falling all over love I do it till I last, last Hanging out the back All of me you last Like is you coming home? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me using for the first time the new Anastasia subculture palette. Okay, you guys, there's been so much things about this palette that I've heard, but I really want to give it a try myself. And you know, I'm not gonna tell you guys what I think. I'm gonna make you guys watch the video so you guys can know what I think about this palette. But um yeah, I really like how my look came out though. I will tell you that. I will tell you that. Oh, you guys, uh, look at this watch that I got, okay? So this watch is from a company called Dura Watches, and they sent me one of their watches, you guys. Look how pretty this watch is. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. It looks like it would be, like, it would cost a whole crap lot of money because of how, like, luxurious it looks. And I just love the fact that it's made of wood. Like, how pretty is this? So this watch is a Frankie series, and it's made from a zebra wood. Oh, my goodness, I don't know about you guys, but this right here is life. <laughs> I love how this looks. I've never owned anything like this in my life before, and I just think it looks so different and so expensive on my hand. I, I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this. I love it so much. Also, when you get this watch, guys, they give you so much stuff for the watch. It comes in like such a nice packaging, and they give you like this wood cleaner to clean the watch so it stays nice and shiny. They give you something to like clean the fronts of the watch right here so it's like nice and shiny. And like the glass didn't get dirty I don't know I just thought that this company was just so generous with the things that they gave us to um, maintain the watch and I really liked that a lot like I thought that was so awesome but yeah guys I'll leave their link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing this watch because I mean these watches are so nice could you imagine wearing this watch in like fall and winter even summer because I looks like I'm wearing summer clothes right now but fall and winter you guys like Do you guys see how nice this watch is? I don't know, I love it. I didn't get mine too small because I really don't like watches when they're like stuck on the wrist like this. I kind of like it when it hangs down a little bit. So that's why I got mine um, in this, like a bigger size. But um, no, you guys, this watch is so pretty. I love it so much. So I'll leave all the information down in the description box below so you guys can go and check them out if you guys want to. Um, I don't have an affiliate link for you guys when it comes to this. Um, so uh, yeah, just go down below and check out their watches because you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, like, this is so pretty. It just makes me feel so, like, different and, like, a boss. I don't know. I just love the fact that it's blue. I don't know. Okay, let me just stop talking about this watch. But, um, yeah, guys. So I'm, like, playing with and, like, so you guys see the watch. <laughs> because the watches look so good. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or will enjoy this video. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give this video a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that notification button so you'll be notified for any future videos that I do come out with and yeah um my god my hair and everything just looks super right today like mm, yes girl <laughs> I love you guys so much Mwah. bye Oh my gosh, you guys, look how dirty I got my palette already. Thanks to Nova. <laughs> so anyway, the first color that I'll be taking is that one right there. I forget the name, and my finger was covering it, so yeah. But if you have the palette, then you know what name it was. <laughs> but um, okay, so I find with this palette, you guys, because I've watched so many reviews, I find that you have to put a little bit of pressure and build the color in. That is how... I got this palette to work for me um I already kind of go light-handed already when I put on my um, eyeshadows I'm not like a heavy-handed person or like I don't really dig hard with the brush onto my eye I'm always kind of like making it brush my skin so for me it wasn't really that like annoying or hard to work with um but I will say though that you do have to take a little bit more time or maybe it's just me because I was scared that I was gonna get messed up so I don't know but all I know that when you do apply less pressure and go very softly with it um yeah it works out pretty well <laughs>
as you guys can see here, like, um, there's not any, like, patches or anything like that. It's blending out nicely. I'm using the same Beach Cosmetic brush that I always use, um, the large blending brush. And as you guys can see, it went on pretty good. So I do recommend, if you have this palette, to apply the colors on your eyes like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take that color there, uh axis or whatever it's called <laughs> and I'm going to put that into the crease of my eyes or even more into the crease of my eyes so it can give my eyes a little bit more depth and stuff like that and as you can see here again you guys I am just taking my time with this palette it does have kickback I'm not going to lie it has kickback um yeah but because I know it has kickback I don't use I don't go hard onto the palette with my brush. I go like very lightly. And there's Nova, you know, always hanging over me while I do my makeup. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm just putting that into the ends of my eyes as well as a crease. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, like I made sure to show you guys on both eyes. Because normally I just show you guys one eye. But I made sure for this video to show you guys on both eye how the eyeshadows go on. For me at least. You know, I'm not saying anyone's lying about how it performs for them. But for me... This is how it performs for me. You guys are seeing it right here, right now. That is what it looked like when I put it on my eye. So, um, yeah, I'm just building up the color. And, yeah, just, you know, blending it out as I go along. But I find, like, this works. I feel like if people knew how to apply the eyeshadow before they bought the palette, then they wouldn't be saying all these things about the palette. You know what I mean? But I feel like everyone just kind of tr treated it as, like, any other palette. So, I guess that's why. Which I understand because, I mean... No one wants eyeshadows to be, like, hard to use. But for me, like I said, I normally put my eyeshadows on like that. So it wasn't that bad. Um, Yeah, so as you can see here, I'm just going over again with that reddish color that I used first. I kind of wanted that red to be more intense. um, Because it was kind of getting lost in the green. Uh, So, yeah. So now I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base um, in white. And I'm just going to cut my crease i'm gonna do a half crease today so i'm gonna cut my crease you want to take your time with this guys it's like not a race it really is not like if you take long it's totally fine i take long when i cut my crease i don't know about i see some people that can cut it quick like Aaliyah's face can cut her crease quick okay and not me i wish i could but not me <laughs> so um yeah i'm just going to um yeah cut my crease i'm using cube now um and that color is so pretty it's like an iridescent pink type of color it looks white but then when you kind of turn your your head it gets into pink i don't know how to explain it but it's the bomb it looks really good um you can kind of see it more when i turn my head to the side like okay yeah here it was looking like okay it looks like my eyes chopped like the eyeshadow was chopped right there but i'm telling you when i put my head to the side more it kind of like goes into like the pink color but like when you look straight on it looks like i didn't blend properly it's weird i think it's just how the eyeshadow is but yeah i don't like that though i don't like that it looks like i didn't blend it because I, you know me guys i love blending i'm all about blending but it looks like i didn't blend because of how the eyeshadow is you see how when i turn to the side it turns purple yeah i don't know but that's one thing I didn't like about that eyeshadow cube. But other than that, the color is beautiful. Like, I love the color. Um, I'm showing you guys here again on the other eye what I mean. You see on the side, it turns like purpley, like a pinky purple. That is so pretty. But then when you look straight, it kind of looks like I didn't blend properly. I don't know how to explain it. But I'm pretty sure you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm trying my best to make it look like I've blended it even when I'm looking forward. So that's what I'm doing here, just kind of going back over with the green and stuff to make it look as most blended as I possibly can. And I'm adding some more of that cube because I'm like, oh, I love how that purple looks. It's so nice. So um, yeah, I'm just going over again with that color and blending, going over blending until I like, until I'm satisfied with what it looks like. You know what I mean? Because I just want everything to look blended. But as you can see, like, look, that is so cool. I love that. Like, you can't see it, but when you turn to the side, it's like, watch out. <laughs> it's like, look at that purpley pink. I love it. Um, anyways, I'm going to line my eyes with the L'Oreal um, Black is Black Gel Eyeliner. And I'm going to take my time with this. I always take my time. You guys know this already. And um, I'm going to clean it up with my concealer. You guys know this already, too. <laughs> I'm going to clean up with the concealer. Uh, if you ever make a mistake, concealer will save your life. Um, so, yeah. So, this is what the eye looks like when I'm done. 
without my lashes on. Looks pretty good. I don't know. I thought the palette worked pretty well for me, so I liked it. And I'm going to go over again with that um reddish kind of color because I just wanted it to look more, like, I don't know. You know when you do your eyeliner, you can kind of see where, or like how you kind of want things to look more or like what you could add. So that's what I'm doing there. <laughs> but um yeah, the palettes, it worked pretty well for me. I didn't use any other color, so I'm not sure about the other colors. But these colors, these colors were bomb. Okay, um, I added the lashes, and these are from Sade Lashes, or She by Sade, yes, that's what's called. Um, and now I'm going to contour my face with this Cover FX Press Mineral Foundation in N120. And I'm using my broken brush, because all my brushes are broken. I need more. Please, Sigma, holla at your girl. <laughs> I need some brushes. <laughs> like ASAP but yeah so I'm going to just color color I'm gonna um contour my face and contour my chin because I hate my double chin I really don't like it um and yeah that's what I'm doing there I really don't know what to say guys so I'm kind of just yeah <laughs> okay now I'm just going to cut my contour with some translucent powder um, this one is from um, Sephora, and it's the Bright Set Powder. And I'm just going to do that to my nose as well, because I have to snatch my nose. I always have to snatch my nose. Um, and yeah, and then I'm just going to take my brush with some powder on it, I guess. I kind of don't like that white line that gets stuck underneath there sometimes. So yeah, I'm going to just brush off that um, translucent powder. Now I'm going to take Anastasia's blush in Berry a door that's what it's called and i'm going to take the first two darkest ones and i'm just going to put that onto my cheeks here you guys look at this i saw a bee at the window and look at my face i thought it was going to get me <laughs> oh my goodness so embarrassing <laughs> Funny. Oh my goodness. I wonder how I looked on camera. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm deathly afraid of bugs, okay? I hate them. <laughs> so I'm gonna use um that highlighter from Becca cause is it Becca? No, it's from Bobby Brown. What am I saying? The highlighter from Bobby Brown called Bronze Glow. I love this highlighter so much, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks and then I'm gonna go back again with that color cube and I'm gonna put that into my tear ducts because I really wanted it in my tear ducts. You guys look at Nova. What kind of dancing is she doing in the background? Like, I was so like, what are you? <laughs> Nova kills me. Oh my goodness. But um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna go over that cube with some of the um highlighter that I used. And I didn't want it too pink. I kind of wanted like a nice pinky gold. So that's why I put that there. Um, I put. Did I just say there? I'm so weird. That's why I put that there. Jeez. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna line my lips with um Mac Chestnut Lip Liner. Uh, yeah, you just want to take your time with this too and make sure you like, I like a crisp lip if that makes any sense. So yeah, that's just me. But I'm going to use this color from Anastasia for my lips and it's called, I swear it's called Griffin. It's her new matte lipsticks. I'm not sure. It'll be in the description box below though. So don't worry. But I think it's called Griffin. And I'm just going to use that on my lips for today. And I thought it went perfect with the look guys. I love it. Then I'm going to Spritz my face with some Fix Plus. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. I love you guys so much. And yeah, that is it. Okay, guys. Bye. Yeah, you like nine to five.